Welcome to over-engineering a camera holder for a push bike. The main question is, do I still look like a massive bell end with this thing on there? The problem is, is putting that camera on this bike is a bit of an issue. I've actually got an Insta360, but the problem with the Insta is that you look like a massive twat with one on. So I need to find a way to mount the 360, but people can't see it, so you don't look like a bell end. Because of the nature of this curve, it's kind of awkward to get stuff in here. So I found this on Amazon, which is about six quid, and basically just gives me a second handlebar. Next component, I found this Insta360 ski pole mount designed to take a selfie stick that has a slot there uh, to go onto a ski pole. And so you can see where I'm going with this. That is gonna slide onto here. And so that looks like that. I don't wanna have to glue that on like an absolute animal. So that's what I've got. This thing from Falcam, which is a solid quick release plate that goes on the bottom of the camera, that goes on the bottom of the selfie stick, and then I can just squeeze and do a quickie release on the camera. Matt, looks like that! How good is that? And then we can just, maybe not one handed, and then oh, off it comes. Here we go, in there. Is that noticeable? Is that noticeable? Would you see that thing there? Right, so in the end what I've done is I've actually moved this bit over to here, so that that way, when it's like that, it's not any further out than the handlebars. Because it's a selfie stick, I can obviously just extend that out as much as I want. And then if I'm filtering through traffic, I can just... It back in. The main question is, do I still look like a massive bell end with this thing on there? No. completely over-engineered selfie stick standy thing that maybe avoids looking like a massive plotter. You be the judge of that, do it still look like a massive plotter? Uh, comment below, thank you.